Okay everybody, welcome back to Rick's Rides. I'm gonna try to get this video done. I'm installing some cast camera plates on a 93 Mustang that's been lowered a lot. Um, just kind of give you a quick layout. I mean, you'll get your instructions as you go. So I'm pretty much gonna just show you how to make it easier and faster on the car. So what I did before I ever started, I pre-assembled the strut mounts. And as you can see, this would kind of go like that. There are certain ways you gotta lay the spacers out, which actually all the spacers go on top of the strut mount and then it sandwiches between this plate. But like I said, that'll show you in the instructions. It's pretty easy. Um, you take your rubber bushings off and you use these spacers that go on the strut mount itself, which it'll kind of sit like that and allow in there like that. Just kind of give you a rough idea. But the speedy part, what I'm gonna show you is, they tell you you gotta take everything apart and you really don't. I just took my wheel off. I use a jack stand to support the subframe. I'm using the jack to push up on the spring and then that allows me to easily take the shock off which I pretty much already got done basically you just do that you pop all this off all this does not need to be in there you're not going to use any of that again and then you just kind of slowly let the jack out and then right now most of the pressure is off which is good enough. You can leave a little bit of pressure on there if you're nervous. And then pretty much everything's free at that point. And this is where the speedy part comes in. You just kind of grab the top of the strut. You force it down. Like that. And that will allow you to take all the pieces out, which it's just these three more nuts on top and then everything will come off. And that way you skip the whole step of having to take the strut off. And then pretty much you slide the shims on here. You put that other little three-legged dog looking plate underneath. You put the top plate on top here. Both those three together. And then you just slide the strut back through the hole. Put the nuts on top. And you're done. I know it's really easy. The only thing I was trying to show you what speeds it up is how you don't have to take the shock off. And just support the car with the jack stand. Use the jack to do the spring pressure. Swap it over. You can literally get each side done in about 15 minutes. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, let me know. I can answer everything the best I can. But besides that, I mean, just let me know. Later, guys.